Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Diana Ropa 2. Goodbye, despair. Last episode, we checked out Java Walk. Uh, military base? Um. We don't have much left to do here. We need to check out. This room? So I think that's one of the most important points of this one. In this case. But honestly. Aito's room is a bit wonky. <laughs> wasn't he my direct neighbor? Nope, he wasn't. Hey, Chucky, what up, girl? I'm annoyed. What happened? I'm annoyed. What are you annoyed about? I want to investigate Aito's cottage. But I'm annoyed. Hmm, I'm annoyed. I don't really understand, but can't you investigate me? Let's try investigating the Eater's Cottage. Better clear. Huh? It's locked? <sighs> Apparently. We can't go inside. Thanks to that, I am annoyed. Nothing I can do, I'm going to investigate you. What are you going to do? I'll look for Monokuma. He might open it for us. We know when we can go inside. Yep. Yeah, got it. So, where can we investigate further? That's a thing, actually. I don't really know where. We have Nagito's cottage is is off limits for us right now. Then there has to be another spot somewhere. No second island, not really. Castle, right? The castle. I forgot completely about the castle. Okay, so now we're going to go into the castle. Nobody's here. Weird. Inside somebody? Yep. Kazuchi. Here you go, Kazuchi. Yo. Look at that wall of spears. I guess it's obvious where that weapon came from. Ew. Okay. Um. Yeah. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. The spear is, is definitely needed, right? I see. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Yeah, true. Plus, looks like one of the spears are missing. Who's missing? Huh. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of gun gear. Gugnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use the spear and a knife? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife. That would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this is with this unnecessary cart thing would be easy to use. It definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose this spear for a reason. What could that reason be? Feel about the time. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. Probably, I feel this way. Feeling the strange thing I've never felt before, as if Nagito was trying to make us suffer even after he, he's died. <laughs> That's evil, man. Well, now is not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's really to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. All right, let's go. So it has a kind of. A kind of trigger. Yeah. Seems like it has a trigger. Uh, was there? Was there? Here's nothing. This is the only place I haven't investigated yet. Hey, Mono. Monokuma's here. What's this? Ma, you wanna go inside Nakito's room too? Hajime. Oh, Hajime. What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Jackie's request. He wants me to unlock the door to Nakito's cottage because he really needs it for the class trial. <laughs> she, she begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. I didn't do that. Boy, <clears throat> the crowd. 
Then do it. It's sweet because it's made out of black beans. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and I'll unlock the damn door, Monokuma. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. Just gotta do that right. Now then. Creek. Bye-bye. See, I opened the door. Now you can freely investigate now. <laughs> this is my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage is computerized. Hey, hey. More importantly... Let's go inside now the door is open. Yeah, you're right. So, let's look at this freaking room. Oh, what the hell? So, Nikito is living here. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his day? Hope. I need more hope. Otherwise, I can't come. Sorry. Um, I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. Actually, he did. He was especially weird the fact that these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue might be hidden here as well. Okay, what do we have? We have this glowing freaking toy box. First of all, we have a Monokuma. Yep. What else do we have? We should. Okay. Let's go for the obvious thing. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing up. Could this be? Can you let me? Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Sparkling pink lights. Yep. We know. Perhaps. That treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stone treasure box. If this is here, that means the Monami was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it'd be good to see what's inside. Well, is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but it could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. Turn back. Put the key box and casually open the lid. What the fuck? There were, inside there was a notebook? This is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? Do the notebook out of the bones we can do. It has sloppy drawings if they were drawn by children. The entries looked like chicken scratches. Day one I was eight. Able to talk to everyone for the first time. Monokuma showed up and things were bad. BFP is the leader. A lot of things happened so everyone's tired. What is this a diary? Looks like it. Did Monami write this? Probably. These pictures and all the entries totally suit her. Keep flipping through the pages. Day 3, 5. Page after page of poorly written entries continue in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stop it. On the entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. How do you even try to go to the final dead room? Probably panicking that because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey! Watching that, did something happen? Oh, oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of never, one of me suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of I my hand. Forgive you. Phew! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez. That was close. If I had come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here, um, then Nagito was the thief? No. Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved students! Yeah, kind of. Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? Diary? Um... um it seems that way. That's right. It's my important diary where all, where, where all my main secrets are written. Hey, hey, hey! You're a liar. Well, well, you always show up out of nowhere. Why you? Monami, it's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote that in, wrote in that notebook. Yeah. After all, Monami can't write. Huh? Well, what are you saying? 
Jeez, and I can write letters easily. I can write the letter B. That's wrong. No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> See? Bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way, too. What? 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 Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey! So, this, that's what this is about. You're, you're, you're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? No way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looked like it. the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know what you're getting so why you're getting so serious about what Monokuma said true? Huh? You said you didn't write in that notebook, is that true? So, if so, who wrote in um, it? Um, well, you know, it's, um, how should I put it? Bye-bye! Ex excuse me! Hold on! Well, this is... Ca Let's think back. Who stopped us from entering the final dead room? If the notebook is supposedly Monami's and the actual traitor works with Monami, it's kind of obvious who it is now. Damn it. She totally ran away again. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually... Might be better if I didn't ask her. It could be, but that's the truth. So, anything else in there? Fancy looking treasure box. This is here, then I... Why would he steal? He didn't write in that notebook, so who did? No, that notebook doesn't matter right now. Let's talk with her. Hmm. time for investigating is winding down. So... Bookshop might take some time to investigate, so we should try... Examining some other areas first. Bed comes with the cottage, it's just like, but. Hey, hey! Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Well, well, we should just stick. Just check in case. With no expectations, without thinking, I'd be done in the bed. Mm -hmm. There's something here. It's plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What the fuck? What's this? It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. This looks like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves. He's hiding these under his bed. What did he like, did you use this stuff for? Okay, another truth. How'd, How'd you know? Was there anything else under the bed? Hmm, let's see. Peek down the bed. Looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and hmm, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. It's made of blue aluminium. A round thick piece of aluminium, huh? It's my of those tears that go for the jar of unopened mayonnaise. What you're saying is... I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait, hmm. time out. Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. So we'll put it in the truth bullets. Uh, what else do we have? We have... His refrigerator. Why does he have his refrigerator? Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? His room? Did he really enjoy cold drinks? The talk with Jackie opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Hmm, there isn't really much inside. Monokuma special poison for poisoning use only! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the, thing, the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Hmm. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But that bottle is clearly a drink. Really, it looks like some kind of di dietary su supplement to me. Protein, po protein power, maybe. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading it. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. <laughs> I love that sentence. <laughs> hey, this. Could it be? Yeah, it looks like poison. Poison? 
it looked like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in more detail. But be careful with the bot that bot, don't drop it. Stop it. If you're worrying like that, I'm gonna get nervous. Grab the bottle with some trembling hands and begin reading the warning label on the back. Poison made for spe specifically killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enhanced liquid is highly potent and takes imme effect immediately. Handle with care. This volatility is low. The liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Guess to state it's heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes. And it's susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or a plastic container away from sunlight. Well, this sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. The refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagito get something like well? this? My question could be applied to the bomb that he used in the ho at the hotel too. Applied to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon in the fun house. The poison must have brought it with him from there right too. Was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares hey, me. Hey. Also, he blew up the bomb when he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison, huh? Yeah. See? Looks like the bottle's less than half empty. Uh, was it like this from the beginning, or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder if there's still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet. Could be. Another trap? Perhaps. For example, he was making some kind of trap using the poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. E everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make a summon? Actually not. Um, did you see? Even after you died? Yeah. It's weird. So we have the bookshelf left. There are a lot of books and mysterious items stuffed on the shelf. Game genres and types of items are so also random mechanics and something whatsoever. Well, they say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person. Do they? Mm -hmm. I definitely don't know much about Nikita just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hunting Room. Wait, what? Um. It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know there might be private stuff here. Well, that may be true, but... So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got presaged to do this without realizing it. Kinda. I sighed and walked towards the chef. One by one, I started removing some various books and examining each one. I just examined them carefully. There were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Huh? Well, yeah. The file about Hope's Peak Academy. Memory? Nope. No, only Hajime. I think you said this only contained information on me, but there, is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? He said from, I was from the reserve department, I had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file, I held in my hand to confirm it. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really my information, why was, is this file so di thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Megito had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was also information about Kazuchi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonia. And everyone who died had pages of information on them too. Fine contained information of all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make such a, up, up such a strange lie. That means the rest of it might be a lie too. I turned the page containing my information began reading to account for base information such as my date of birth, my height, weight, and so forth. But there was one thing specifically caught my eye. Were the words reserved costume. There was no denying it. Confirmed that I was truly a reserved costume from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve quest? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. 
Pachi, did something happen? Well, I just found a strange fire. Ah! Isn't that the special ni prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profiles should be in there. Not just my profile. Profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagito is lying. Huh? Did you say everyone? Do you mean everyone? It's basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Jackie leaned against me and peered into the file. Whoa, that. You're right. My profile is really in here. Yep. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Yeah. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Yep. That is not there for hmm. reasons. If it's not written in there. These profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Exactly. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yep. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, hold on. Huh? Hmm? What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? Yep. There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. He isn't in there. Be careful. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you might think he'd be the traitor? No. It's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? AKA Dagaropa 1. For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. It is. It is definitely. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but what are you saying about the missing name and about the killing school life? Too bad. It, it's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all riled up. <clears throat> How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Byakuya for no reason. Which means the greater mystery that you think surrounds that Byakuya doesn't exist. You're basing this on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through those files, right? Huh? My turn back to the file. One by one I start flipping through the pages and confirming the names. Yep. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Yeah. <laughs> Every section was filled with question marks. It could be barely considered a pro student profile. On that page I was only able to confirm one thing. That one person is the ultimate imposter. Ultimate imposter? Yeah, that's right. That's the Byakuya's true identity. True identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny. Byakuya Togami. Uh, I made it through the word at one with one shot. Wow, a fake? Yeah. He's a fake! Surprise! Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> Though, I'm not jealous of that at all. Nope. That person wasn't really Byakuya Togami. Perhaps. That's why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the co killing school life. So cool! <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to few others at all. A real imposter has skills like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But, but he couldn't help it. What? 
Why couldn't he help us? Because oh. that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. Yeah, that's an interesting... S you can't do anything else except rely on that talent, regardless whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In a sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be more liberating. What the hell? Anyway... Um, anyway... I'm not happy you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So, I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Biaku is exactly the truth. Then, what was he trying to say to me at that time? I cannot talk about others, to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being tr trusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Oh, I can do the voice once again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Based on that concert, if I had to guess? No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you wouldn't have never been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. <laughs> But since you guys went to Obspeak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to the memory loss. Phew. Jeez, the future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find it out! Wait, what? So, just as I thought, you're the one who did this. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it Correct. in here? It wouldn't be fun if you figured out the tra who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then, we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Yep. <laughs> -hoo -hoo. It's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure about this? Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up. Wait. Bye bye. Excuse me for a moment. Damn it! Damn you, Monokuma! Damn you! Damn you, plushy bear! And we're gonna stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye.